Hi everyone, the purpose of this video is I wanted to chat a little bit about the videos that we're going to be watching this week on Lynda. Um, we are going to be starting to create forms within our web pages to allow the user to send some information to um, the writer of the website through an email. Um, we're also going to look, just chat a little bit about the CGI scripts. Um, our, the Lynda videos are kind of going to go in a little bit more depth than we need to go into for the purposes of this course. Other courses within the co-op certificate get into CGI scripts and interacting with servers more than this introductory course does. Um, but um, I would suggest if you're interested to go ahead and um, practice what Bill is doing within the videos with the CGI scripts. He even gives you some sample uh, scripts to allow you to interact with his personal server. Um, again, that's outside the scope of this course and LabWebs doesn't even support the CGI scripts and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute and then we're also going to I'm going to introduce you to the very last section of the essential training videos that we're watching for XHTML, HTML, and CSS. Um, the last section is just creating a simple web page from scratch from start to finish. Um, you've heard me mention um, the Groundswell website a couple times. That's uh, that's what we're doing here in the last half of the course is learning how to make that website but also making our own. Um, so I've intentionally made the front half of the course top heavy for that purpose so we can get um, learn all the background knowledge that we needed to know before um, we started creating our web pages and now essentially for the whole last half of the class we're uh, learning how to make the Groundswell website and then we're also going to be making our own term project website. So this is week five. This is, you know, we've now passed the midpoint of the course and uh, your website is essentially due um, within the next couple weeks. So uh, sit back and let's take a look at what we're looking at on Linda. So these are the videos that we're going to be watching this week. We're going to be watching, remember, the uh, a section on forms. Um, I would suggest go ahead and watching at least this uh, video here. There's other videos in the playlist that you do not have to watch, but this will just introduce you the use of CGI in forms. Um, you know, CGI is not a program itself. Uh, Bill will talk about that. Um, CGI is simply just an interface that allows the web page or the browser and the web server to connect um, and allow the user to be able to. Um, you know, send information um, to the server and perhaps, you know, interact with the server. Um, so in order to be able to use CGI, CGI you, have to ha so you have to be able to have um, permissions to be able to do that, and you have to have a server that's set up to do that, and LabWebs here on campus is not set up to do that. Um, so uh, Bill will talk more about that. Um, and then we're also going to be watching the Chapter 9, um, creating a simple web page from scratch. Um, you look at this and you think, man, that's a lot of videos to watch. And that's actually a, probably over ha almost half of his entire course. I'm not expecting you to watch all of these this week, although time and time again I do have students that do want to watch all of these. But I would rec – because, I mean, next week I'm going to have this exact same list for you to watch. I mean, basically your goal is over the this week and next week to essentially watch all of these. So it's up to you to manage your time wisely. But this is going to be showing you how to create the Groundswell website, for, like I was mentioning earlier, from start to finish. So let's go ahead and click on the Information Services Workshop page and log in to Linda. So after we click on the Information Services technology link, then we click on the Linda Training Login homepage. You enter in your last name. And then your connections ID followed by EWL. You're probably wondering why I'm showing you how to log into the to Linda each week. Uh, I'm, I've had students that have still, you know, even a couple weeks into the course are, are having trouble logging into Linda, and I just want to make sure everybody knows how to get in and then access the videos that we need to watch. I find the fastest way is to go to subject, go to web interactive. And then we're going to narrow down our search even more by clicking on the HTML and HTML5. And then we just click on HTML again. And then we scroll down to the bottom. And here we are, XHTML, HTML Essential Training. And the videos that we're watching this week are scroll down, uh, forms. You're probably wondering, why aren't we watching frames? Frames is a little dated technology. Um, 
I don't teach forms in this class. I mean, I could. Your book even goes into it, and um, I can't remember if there's a whole chapter given over to it or not, but even when I teach this course in the classroom, I don't use frames. Um, the only thing that, I mean, you do see things like iframes. That's where you're embedding like a YouTube video on a page, but in terms of frames, it's kind of like having, um, I always kind of think of it as having like another web page scrolling and doing things within another web page. Um, these days with modern web, uh, we're not doing that anymore. And then, uh, so anyways, we're watching forms. We watched uh, CSS last week, so now we're going back and we're watching forms. And then we're also watching creating a simple web page from scratch. And again, like I said, all of these videos, you do not have to watch all of them this week. I mean, let's just look and see. For example, this would be two, one hour and 45 minutes. But then again, you know, think of this. This is, you know, a good 20 minutes of you learning how to do forms and then doing your homework involving forms. And then, um, you know, I would suggest maybe giving yourself a good hour, a little over an hour, and watch through many of these, and this will help getting your site set up from scratch for your term project. And many of you, I'm guessing, will be trying to submit drafts of your term project this week uh, within your term project journal, so we can all start uh, looking at each other's work um, for our movie genre fan websites. Um, and this series of videos will help you do that as they show you how to do it with the Groundswell website. Another thing that I always want to remind everyone, the Groundswell website, you know, imagine that website being developed with a team of web designers, web developers, and even graphic designers, because some of the stuff that you're going to be seeing used in the Groundswell website are, you know, flash objects, custom images, and I'm not expecting you to necessarily have that uh, in your own term project website. I know a lot of students do want to uh, have some custom images in their site. Um, and I would suggest, you know, doing your best to try to do that. You know, you have free programs on your computer, you know, Microsoft uh, Paint, or perhaps you have access to Photoshop or Fireworks, which reminds me, you can always come up here and go to Subject. Actually, let's go to Software, and you can watch a whole series of videos on Photoshop. So even if you have the lighter version of Photoshop Elements, you can watch just some simple Photoshop Elements videos to be able to edit some photographs that you might want to put on your website or images that you found online. For our purposes as web designers and less web graphic designers, uh, most web designers these days are using um, Fireworks, which is similar to Photoshop, but Fireworks is more geared toward uh, graphic de graphics development for the purpose of the web. All the labs on campus have Fireworks, and I would suggest maybe watching some Linda videos if you would like to try to create some custom images for your site or editing other images that you are finding online. Um, within Fireworks, you can do things like easily um, create uh, rollover images and things that you might want to have on your site, um, you know, images that could be used for uh, buttons on a menu, stuff like that. But again, that's not required for the purposes of this course. All that we're required to do is just make a simple, this foundational course is to make a simple HTML, XHTML website uh, that meets the needs of the user. So essentially provides information about your movie genre. Anyway, so this week we're watching forms and you're getting started watching the creating a simple web page from scratch. Uh, be sure that you let me or the class know what questions that you have because we're all here to help.